In this video, we're going to be talking about fixed income securities. One of the most common types of financial securities. These are securities that have a fixed rate of return in comparison with other investments like stocks and bonds. Watch till the end to equip yourself with the knowledge to hedge yourself against recession. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you are interested to learn finance, accounting, business or creating a side hustle, we have an exclusive offer from Skillshare to learn them and over 4,000 and more other skills. Click below for more info. First, let's look at the pros and cons of fixed income securities. Pros may offer inflation protection, can be less volatile than stocks, offer tax advantages in some cases, may provide estate planning benefits. Cons generally have lower returns than stocks. Interest rate risk, reinvestment risk. In my experience, investors find the stocks they follow and trade easier to understand than fixed income. For example, a higher level of volatility in the equity market is typically expected. It's rarely seen as something that needs to be avoided. However, fixed income trading is completely different. When it comes to fixed income securities, most investors aren't comfortable with any downward movement at all. A then when prices increase, many investors don't want to take profits. But when prices fall, these same investors are more likely to panic and sell in an instant. Theoretically, fixed income securities should be the ultimate buy and hold. Their primary purpose is income generation. I like to add some seasoning to this bland diet by profit taking, but losses are almost never an acceptable or necessary menu item. Still, Wall Street pumps out products and investment experts rationalize strategies that cloud the simple rules governing the behavior of what should be a retirement blankie. I shake my head in disbelief constantly. The investment gods have spoken. The market price for fixed income securities varies inversely with interest rates, both actual and anticipated. Over the years, I've adjusted to these disbelieving response. I now get them everywhere I go. This is natural stuff, but you have to understand how securities react to interest rates and take advantage of it. There's no need to try to hedge against them or wallow in self-pity over the way things are. It's just life. I hope this series helps you feel more comfortable with fixed income investments. There are several reasons why investors have invalid expectations about their fixed income investments. 1. They are not used to this type of investing, so they think all securities only have a market value. 2. Age and inexperience create an inordinate fear of loss which is preyed on by sales reps of all shapes and size. 3. They can't tell the difference between earning income and the market value of fixed income securities, which changes with current interest rates. 4. They believe that their portfolio's market value and not the monthly income it generates is their primary weapon against inflation. But if you store these securities in a safe deposit box instead of a brokerage account and just receive the income, the fear would simply go away. Think about it. A well-constructed portfolio should include securities that generate income, and every investor should understand some basic facts about interest rate-sensitive securities. These options include corporate, government, and municipal bonds, preferred stocks, many closed-end funds, unit trusts, rights, royalty trusts, and treasury securities. They are legally binding contracts between the owner of the securities and an entity that promises to pay a fixed rate of interest for the use of money. Usually, these debts are first in line to be paid by an issuer before any other obligations. They are negotiable and can be bought or sold at the price currently set by market interest rates. The longer the duration of an obligation is, the more price fluctuation cycles will happen while they are being held. For example, typically longer commitments also have higher interest rates. When you buy short-term securities instead of long-term securities, you earn less interest and pay your broker more frequently because you have fewer price fluctuation cycles within a holding period. In general, defaults in interest payments are extremely rare, especially on investment-grade securities. Furthermore, it's very likely that you will receive a predictable, constant, and gradually increasing flow of income. The income will only go up gradually if you manage your assets properly by adding proportionately to fixed income holdings. So, as long as everything is going smoothly, all you ever need to check for is the amount of income being generated from your fixed income portfolio each month. Dealing with variable income securities illustrates how your market value will also vary with the nature of the income and the economics of an industry. Rights, royalty trusts, unit trusts, and even CEFs closed den funds might have variable monthly income levels and it requires a thorough understanding of the risks involved to balance them out. A municipal bond CF for example, 
will have a much more stable revenue stream and considerably more price stability than an oil company royalty trust. That said, diversity in the income generating sector should be more important than in your growth sector because it pays the bills as we'll never lose sight of that fact and you'll be able to retire more frequently down the line. One of the most important aspects of your investment strategy is separating assets into different categories. Stocks and bonds, or equities and debt securities, are two vastly different types of investments with drastically different outcomes. It's important not to get them confused because their price changes can affect the value of your account in opposite ways. For example, when a stock goes up in price, it won't necessarily have an effect on a bond that has increased in yield. When you understand this relationship, you'll be able to maintain an emotionally outward calm when you make these investments. For example, if you had a loss in value from stocks in July 2005, it was because interest rates were climbing, it wasn't due to declining stock prices. More recently there has been a rise in interest rates alongside declines in stock prices, which has resulted in collateral asset losses affecting portfolio market values while simultaneously unlocking investment opportunities. Just like at the MAL, lower prices lead to purchase, while higher prices usually result from people selling their goods. You need to adjust your strategy accordingly as economic cycles change accordingly. What do you do when the fixed income market values change and you don't have time to watch the market? Visualize the scales of justice. On one end, we have an interest rate number representing just that. The interest rates for your fixed income portfolio. And on the other side, we have a little eye for interest rate directional expectations. If it looks like interest rates are gonna go up or stop going down, We'll put arrows up next to the eye that's all there is to it. Your first step should be to examine your current capital allocation. The optimal level of fixed income may vary with your goals, which is why it's important to investigate potential indicators for how markets will react in the future. This is a cyclical process, but there are some general rules you can rely on. For example, buying more securities at a discount is normally okay because they'll provide more return over time when rates rise again and selling existing security at a discount to free up cash while rates are low may provide some peace of mind if rates go back up in the future. From a more financially stable perspective, it's important to understand changes in market value, anticipate them, and appreciate the opportunities that they provide. Comparing your portfolio's market value with an external number won't help you at all. The best thing you can do is make sure your investment currency is as easy to trade as possible. This allows you to keep your risk low while gaining access to higher yields. It's like magic or justice. Both sides of the scale offer good news for the investor. Exactly what the investment gods intended. Thank you for watching till the end and supporting our channel. You can check out the exclusive offer at Skillshare below or watch the next video to learn more.